things like that are scary to bring to whatnot at five dollars i just gotta tell you sometimes it's a scary place to be hey bolo buddies thanks for watching all right your question as you watch this video is why why do you keep doing this? So this is not the first time, nor is it the second time that this has happened to me. Gold and diamonds unmarked found at my whatnot show. Yep, not kidding. I'm about to knock your socks off. So a couple of my viewers who uh, purchased from me on whatnot reached out to me with a couple treasures they found. And I'm going to share them with you guys because I had no idea. But that is one thing. Um, about whatnot. I do a lot of untanglings. I do shows, but I don't research the items and then I grab and sell style. So I miss a lot of things and that's okay because you guys are getting the deals. So do I have a lot of resellers buying from me? Yes, because a lot of you have come over to the channel. So before we go any further, you may want to go to the description of the video and click on that referral link and get your $15 to shop because you just might find a bolo at my whatnot show or someone else's whatnot show. So you can use that $15 to shop with anyone. It doesn't have to be me, but I would love for you guys just to come hang out at a show. You don't have to buy anything. There's never any pressure. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you can just watch as entertainment, like an untangling show and just hang out. So uh, a lot of people just come and hang out in the chat and we just have fun. So everybody's kind of talking in the chat, kind of like a live show on YouTube, but it's on whatnot. So definitely check that out. And if you want to learn how to sell on whatnot, I also have videos that teach you about that. Type in whatnot for beginners, Bolo Buddies on YouTube, and it'll pull those up. And I have a seller's referral link down below that will let them know that Bolo Buddies sent you if you use that referral link to join. So let's get started with these bolos. And a bolo is an item to be on the lookout for. And you can find these items anywhere. But these, again, were found at two separate whatnot shows. So let's get started with the first one here. And I'll show you what it sold for. This one. Beautiful. Here's the back sides uh just make sure all of the bling is there yes and then it comes up like this and there is no clasp look how beautiful this is let me put it on the bust for you guys Ooh. and we're going to run it for five 15 seconds running for five. It's beautiful. Oh, Brinny Bug, the whole show is just, there's so many amazing items tonight. Yes, it's beautiful. You see how it hangs? It's got that second layer in the front. Look at that. It is incredible. Thank you for your bids, everyone. A stunning, stunning piece. Oh. Brandon's in there. Thank you. And Brandon, you're going to get that one. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. Thank you to everybody that bid. Appreciate the support. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Number 18 is next. All right, Bolo Buddy. So Brandon Ray Tucker on Instagram, this is his Instagram, and he now has a booth in an antique flea market type mall. You know, those malls where you have a booth. He now has a booth in Moundsville, West Virginia. So go check him out. But anyway, he messaged me on Instagram and shared this with me. Remember, you just saw the clip. He bought this for $39 on my whatnot show. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. His diamond tester said that those are diamonds. Ah! So I don't know what this is valued at, but it, it's gorgeous. Did you guys see that? Um, 
value? I don't know. I told him he should go get it appraised, but he I don't think he's done that yet. Last time I asked him, he had not. But it's diamonds. It's diamonds. And he got it for $39. So that is fabulous. The piece went unsigned and unmarked. So this just goes to show you that not everything is signed and marked. Everybody's always looking for the signed and the marked pieces, right? But things are not marked sometimes, which is going to lead me into my next example. So this next one comes from Geek Nurses Treasures. She reached out to me and said, hey, I bought this from you. And she told me that I could go ahead and share it with you guys so that we can all kind of learn from her experience. Now, as you watch this clip, you're going to see that I kind of felt like it was something special based on some of the things that I say, but I had no idea just how special. This looks really old and you want to know why? Look at this pin. Look at the construction on this. It's like hinged. Whoa. Look at that. Is that interesting or what? Um, does it have a, like, a, I don't know if that's just metal. I think that's just metal. Kind of looks like pearls, but I think it's just metal. I don't know. Huh. It's interesting though, isn't it? What do you guys think about that? Yeah, old. Hematite maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna run it, but please be careful because it is pokey. This is gonna be number 47. I don't usually find stuff probably this old. Leave that to cat. 15 seconds, we're gonna run it for five. Pretty amazing. Okay, there it is. It's running for five. It's got this dangle here. And look at the back, how it's made. It's incredible, isn't it? It's hinged. It's beautiful. Thanks for your bids. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, it is a really cool piece. Really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Geek Nurses Treasures. Thank you, honey. Thank you to everybody that bid on that. I appreciate it. Things like that are scary to bring to whatnot at $5. I just got to tell you, sometimes it's a scary place to be. <laughs> All right. So this is what Geek Nurses Treasures sent me about this item. I'm going to pop it up right here and let you guys read over that and wow right the value of these old victorian items really really hard to determine she did give me what she feels that it is valued at i don't know what kind of research she did on that i did not research it obviously and had no idea that it was gold so one tip that she gives is there is nine carat gold a gold testing for nine carat, which I didn't know. Um, and she said a lot of people miss things because they don't check for nine carat gold. But again, you have here an unsigned, unmarked piece. And you can see she thought it was special and she was right. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I should be researching things? Are you going to come over to my whatnot? Anyway, you guys can answer some of those questions down below. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.